Valley White contacted me and uh, I've helped out with the uh, Christmas uh, the charity ball for many years and uh, they wanted to get some kind of a new project going similar to the Painted Ponies down in Santa Fe and that you see all around and uh, so I'm a sculptor and I was doing a big grizzly bear at the time and so we had once I got finished with that we went ahead and enlarged it uh, to a life-size grizzly. I have always loved Van Gogh and when I saw the, when I realized Starry Starry Night, it lends itself to mosaic and I like the colors and I like the, the flowing of the work and it's got some pretty vivid color in it which I'm pretty happy with. Phoebe has her style of painting, I have my style of painting. So what we did to work together, because we wanted the bear to look uniform and not like one side Phoebe style, one side Jane style. We both sketched our design on the bear. And then Phoebe went around and she did what we call middle ground. And that would be the, the mid value range. And then I would go back in and I did highlights and dark shadows. And I just marveled when I came home from our trip. We'd been gone for eight days that she painted and it just, the first thing I got out of the car, even though I could hardly walk, I was so tired, I came and looked at the bear before <laughs> soon as I unlocked the front door and I didn't even unload anything. I just came and looked at the bear and I'm really pleased with it. Being the sculptor and metalsmith, I, I didn't want to just be involved with a, a paint job, not that that can't be great, but uh, you know, I, I felt like if I were to be involved I wanted to do something physically to the bear, so, um, so we seized upon this idea where we could you know, alter the bear's form. Uh, and kind of cut through a cavity, if you will, uh, just a, a geometric cavity cut through the, the midsection of the bear into which we could uh, glass that in, and kind of encasing, but respecting the form of the bear, but have this beautiful scale model airstream kind of in, in the bear's gut. I use the dark blue to push it back and forth. Um, if I make a mistake, and I can always respray it if I make a mistake, but the dark will allow me to push it back and forth, uh, kind of a, add the light and then subtract it. The more I thought about it, I said here, once I brought the bear, I sat and I looked at it, I looked at it, and all of a sudden it just, the idea popped into my head. And that's the most difficult part, to come out with the idea. Once you have the idea, it's just a matter of executing it. It was overwhelming for a while. Uh, it wasn't really the the bear that was overwhelming. It was just knowing I was going to have to learn a new skill uh, and thinking that I would probably be all right, but still not real sure of it. And uh, and then how big it was. I knew it was going to be life size, but still, when it ended up in my garage, it was. <laughs> The actual sketches on the bear were bigger than what I had sketched on paper, which is fine because we wanted that, that oomph that, that you get. So where we've placed this, and also we're thinking about dress, we're dressing the bear, barely dressed for dinner. So we're thinking pants down here. So that's why we have designs here 
connected with the gold, once again to signify the economic value to the valley. Um, and as it flows through here, that's what we're thinking of. We're thinking of dressing the bear. And so some of the major, the bigger designs will go on the bigger areas of the bear. The fish, the salmon, is giving up its energy and transferring it to the bear so the bear can live. So that's what I'm going to try to incorporate into my design. The energy will come, it'll flow from the fish through the bear this way all the way back and then it'll end up in the design of a heart line coming right to the middle of, the, of this midsection. Even this fiberglass is energy itself. Everything is energy and that's a Native American, that's a pre-Columbian um, belief that all we are is flowing energy in the universe. So in this case it's perfect because the fish has the energy and it's, it's going to flow from the fish to give life to the bear. Once I got started applying the glass it, it seemed to take on a life of its own and, and when, I, when I work close to it I have to back away because I don't get a good view of it until I back away and when I back away I'm usually pretty happy. It's slow going but I, I'm pretty happy with it so far. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take a long time, but uh, it's, it's exciting to keep working on it. I don't dread working on it. I look forward to, to coming out and getting everything done so I can come out and work on it. And that's the beauty of having different people work on it because everyone will have a different idea. And uh, I think it'll be great to, to uh, see the bears displayed together. That would be, that would be good. And I told her, I said, no matter what happens, I want us to still be friends when we're done with this thing. Yeah. And so we've had a, we've had a great time. I just love her dearly. So. Yeah, that's that was one that I do think this Phoebe one of the main projects or reasons that this has been so beneficial is that we do get to paint together. And you know, even though it's a time-consuming project, I think I'm going to be kind of sad when it's over. For for being able to come over here and paint in this beautiful room and paint with Phoebe and we just have a, you know, it's a, just a Gilbert. bond. <laughs> <laughs> we like to be a part of uh, the fantastic uh, organization of La Puente however we can to support their mission and, uh, and you know, time is, is of the essence for everybody and uh, we felt like if we did this as a team that we could make an impact and uh, hopefully do something that would uh, really help them out and be something that we can be really proud of too as artists. And, um, so we're excited to be on board with it. We're too consumed with thinking of ourselves, so we need to start thinking of others. And maybe this will be a good project to do that, you know. The whole idea of the La Puente has always appealed to me. I had a brother that uh, went the way of homelessness and, and later his own self-destruction and it uh, so it's always been close to my heart and I don't I don't donate a lot of my work or my time but this is the one that I feel is is worth it and it's personal.